Lauren, you have so much going on, not only in music, but also on camera with videos and shows. What is your favorite thing that you're doing right now? I love everything I'm doing right now. I think I'm most excited for tour, but everything that I'm doing, I'm, I'm really blessed that I love everything that I do. You recently came out with your new single, Only Lovers. Tell us about the story behind it, like what inspired it, and how you recorded it. So I recorded it a couple months ago, and it was just about real life experiences that I was dealing with. And the studio is very therapeutic because I could just go in there and really talk about my emotions, and it's like just me and the producer, and like gets it all out. So <laughs> it was good. It, it was based on real life, and now singing it, it I'm like happy with it. You're about to go on tour across the U.S. and Canada. Yeah. Is it going to be like a stripped down performance? Are you going to have a, a band? Are you dancing? Is it crazy? What is it going to be like? Live music and I'm going to dance a little and sing and uh, I'm excited because I'm going to be singing a couple original songs. So ones that maybe haven't even released yet. Um, I'll be performing on the tour, yeah. Are those similar vibes, similar feel, similar theme or different? I'd say that they're pretty different vibes. I mean, Maybe like a little less poppy because I was the single, but yeah, it's all me, so. I'm really excited. I'm just really excited to keep releasing more music. I just want to like put more out. It's the best feeling though. Can you give us any peeks into what the wardrobe might look like or the set? It's going to be very fun. I am definitely going out of my box. I feel like I have my like style down, but my performance wear is going to be bam. <laughs> is it going to be more costumes or more clothes? It's, it's both. It's all going to be very me. I'm very involved in everything that I'm going to be wearing, but it's going to be an elevated, like, I'm on stage. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dress like I'm on stage. You recently partnered up with Full Screen to do a new show called Lady Bits with Lauren Geraldo. What can you tell us about that? Full Screen came to me and they said, we're doing shows. Um, if you want to do a show, like, give us an idea of what you'd want to do. So I wanted to do a show that actually meant something and was important and powerful. So I wanted to talk about feminism and gender inequality and all that stuff. And they said, yeah, do it. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I got, <laughs> I got so much creative control and I really had a huge say in everything that I was talking about and filming it was great. I feel like women need more of a voice when it comes to things like that. So speaking upon it was amazing and it was very empowering and it was very cool to film. And the fact that they gave me so much freedom with everything was very good. I loved it so much. You also have your YouTube channel. How do you balance all of this? You have shows here and there, you have your YouTube channel, you have your tour, you have your music. It's it's easy when you love everything that you're doing because you want to do it all. It's not like, oh, I have to do this. Like It's like, I want to do this. What's one of your favorite things overall? Uh, writing. I love to write because I, I, every time something happens, I've, I've learned to not subtweet people anymore and to just write lyrics about them in the notes section of my phone. And then I go to the studio and then I'll like write more upon it. But like, instead of just like subtweeting like something that happens, I'll be like, I'll save this as a lyric. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell us about your regular routine? If it's a day that I don't like have anything to do, I'll wake up, I'll go to the gym downstairs, I'll get my flaxseed smoothie, it's really good, it's purple, it's delicious, it tastes like Ooh. banana. And I'll work out, and then I'll get my coffee. <laughs> it's weird that I have like smoothie and coffee, and then I worry about food. But like, you gotta get the liquids in. <laughs> so I, I'll do like a smoothie, and then I'll do coffee, and then I'll go home, and then shower, get ready for the day. And I hang out with my friends. I have a close uh, group of friends. We're like five, and we're just always together. We always hang out, but we're always busy at different times. But when we're not busy, we all get together and we just hang out and. We just do like the normal stuff, but we like have, what? We have a What's lot normal for you guys? Like we go to parties, or we go shopping, or we experiment with makeup. We just have fun. We just watch new shows. We watch new shows all the time. We watched the Mindy Project yesterday. I love that show. It's, it's like so fun. good. It's so funny. So it is so funny. We were all just watching it, like dying of laughter, eating um the seaweed things, the uh, crunchy seaweeds. Who's an artist you would love to collaborate with? I just want to say Beyonce. No, I want her. I want to collaborate with her twins someone you'd love to collaborate with video-wise? Maybe Emma Watson. I just love her. I'm so oh excited that they cast her as in Beauty yeah. and the Beast. When I saw that, people people had conflicted um, responses, but it was like, <laughs> yes. And she has an accent in the I movie. Know. I'm like, perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. Congratulations, you got nominated for a Shorty Award. How does that feel? It, it's cool. I'm excited. I love Snapchatting, and I got nominated for Snapchatter, so I was like, doesn't go unnoticed. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much everyone knows how to Snapchat, but what are your tips since you are clearly one of the best? Don't <sighs> nominate it. <laughs> no, it's just it's just like not not overthinking it. I remember like sometimes I would overthink my Snapchats and they'd just be so awkward. Like just yeah, you just gotta 
go with it. That's what I love about Snapchat. Like, it's just quick, easy, you post yeah. it right there. But now I'm going to Instagram stories, so. What's your perfect angle for Snapchat? A little bit above. Mm -hmm. It's always a little from up. Yeah. The best. The best. What's your favorite filter? It's only there sometimes, but it's a little deer that changes your voice and makes yeah. it squeaky. I love that one. No, so but it's not always there. The dog one's, like, overplayed. Yeah. But the deer one, when it comes, I'm like, <laughs> If you could create a Snapchat filter, which one would you do? I would do like something that like makes your eyebrows arched and like <laughs> defined or like it contours you. Ugh, a filter that's just a contour filter, and you could just be contoured and that not have to actually contour <laughs> and highlight and like a beaming highlight. What if it was in real life? You just like swipe it over your face. That's the future. I can't wait till we live in that world. We have no makeup on. We just like we just swipe touch it. A button. Oh, what would you say to someone who maybe isn't feeling like they have the confidence that they want to have or self-esteem or just feeling insecure? It's important to know that you're enough and um, that I feel like now it's so easy to compare yourself to people. I do it all the time and I'm like, you know what, I don't need to compare myself to these people. I'm not them. And to just be happy with who you are and to realize that you're enough and you're more than enough and you're good.